So I had to make a video today because my good friend Billy gave me his old smoker here. This is an Oklahoma Joe's offset smoker. Really high quality. He refurbed the whole thing and gave it to me as a gift. Really awesome. He wasn't using it. Anyway, this is an offset smoker. So you can also call this a stick burner. The reason for that is you start with charcoal, but you immediately switch over to wood and you're burning wood the whole time. Every hour I feed it with a new piece and I'm just gonna crack it open a little bit. Now my buddy Billy kept the original brochure and there was an instructional VCR tape from back in the day. $1,200 model, this is the 16 inch, and that was in 1996. Anyway, we're gonna make a brisket today. This is about 60 bucks at Costco, USDA Prime. Trimmed it, put on mustard, sprinkled it with rub. So I'm gonna be running around 225 to 250 today. And we're going to smoke that brisket for 12 hours. I'm going to come out and take a quick look. I do them on a sheet pan because it's easier to get it on and off. That's done. But the briskets dry out, so we're going to do a finishing technique here to make that brisket nice and juicy again. By the way, this is exactly how the brisket should look. That's not burnt. That's exactly what you want. The f that's the crust. That's the bark. Anyway... At restaurant supply stores, you can get, it's like a cling wrap, and that's good to 300 or 350 degrees. Anyway, I'm going to wrap this brisket in that, and then I'm going to take beef broth, and I'm not going to inject it into the brisket, but under that saran wrap. So the trick here is, you're just going to try to fill it up like it's inside a balloon. And we're just going to keep putting beef broth in there until it's mostly full. Then we're going to double wrap that with aluminum foil and put it back on the smoker for 45 minutes. So that's not going to melt because again I got that cling wrap at the restaurant supply store. Anyway we're going to continue running at 250 just like we've been all day. On the side it reads 200. Then we're going to pull off our brisket we're going to separate the flat from the point here, and then we're going to trim that point. It takes a minute or two. Just clean it up and face it a little bit. Sprinkle on my favorite rub, and then we're going to slap that on the direct burn grill for just about five minutes keeping a close eye on it so it doesn't burn. And then we're going to firm up that flat in the smoker for 15 minutes. That looks great. Uh, the point is like a cheeseburger and steak rolled up into one. For the flat though, I sprinkle a little rub and I like these old school electric knives. And Man, does that brisket look good. These come out nice and juicy. That finishing technique is awesome. The smoke ring is great. This is nice and, nice and tender and juicy, just the way you want it. So for the flat, I'm cutting it against the grain, and then I'll trim that piece of fat off the bottom. Some people thin slice these and keep that. Then for the, for the point, I'm going to cube it up. So I'm going to cut it one direction, spin it, cut it the other direction, and then I've got my cubes. It's got a nice bark on it. This is what you're after. It tastes so good. So now we're all done. We have a lot of meat. Give it a dash of my favorite rub. And I'll, uh, I'll serve it out. So, friends may not show up for a few hours. I'll pop it in the warming oven, and it'll be ready.